All right, joining me, Nate Peterson, Director of Derivatives Analysis at the Schwab Center for Financial Research, alongside Cooper Howard, Director and Fixed Income Strategist. Afternoon, guys. I think we should probably start with some bonds. Kind of seems like the highlight of the day ahead of inflation tomorrow. Cooper, this market's getting warmed up, it seems like. Uh, it definitely is. We were obviously closed yesterday, but you've seen a little bit of a, a pretty big move up in yields today. So I think that looking forward, like you mentioned, CPI is another big report that we'll see. Uh, potentially, that could be a cause of a little bit of volatility. But I think what's interesting, Oliver, is that you can really look at kind of the underlying catalysts of what's causing the move up in yields today. And what we looked at is one of the things is the term premium. And the term premium is kind of this wonky thing that us bond nerds look at. And it's essentially the compensation that you get for holding longer term bonds relative to just rolling over shorter term bonds. And oftentimes when you see a lot of volatility, when you see a lot of unknowns enter into the market, that term premium moves up. So that's really what we've seen since the election has occurred, just that significant move up in the term premium. And that's really what's driving longer term yields right now. Okay. Uh, when you look at stocks response, Nate, do you see an answer for the Russell being down today and yields being up? Well, it seems to be just uh, some digestion uh, across the board, some healthy digestion. I mean, we we, we really kind of kicked into another gear uh, uh, last Wednesday. We had record option volume, you know, roughly almost 70 million contracts traded last Wednesday. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, a little bit of the animal spirits coming back to the market. You know, we are starting at a higher valuation than we were back in 2016 uh, when we saw the, the post-Trump uh, rally. Um, we get we got Nvidia next week. That's going to be an, an important event there. But the AI story looks intact. Uh, yeah, and, you know, in, in Cooper's world, the yields are something I'm looking at as well. You would think theoretically that uh, the the risk premium uh, for for equities it, it's is theoretically getting worse unless uh, the EPS uh, estimates are going up along with the um, expectations uh, around how much you how much return you get out of the S and P 500. So. Look, for now, while we're still kind of sorting out what this uh, new administration might mean uh, for growth and the bottom line on the S&P 500, uh, we still have this bullish seasonality, animal spirits, high option volume uh, uh, play that, that's going on. And so we have a little bit room to run, provided we get a little bit of digestion of what we've seen over the past five days. Nate, so I mean, if things go awry tomorrow, like are stocks going to freak out or, how, or do you think that we'll look at this with cool heads and say we've been fighting this inflation beast for two years and we should, you know, give it more time to, you know, uh, kind of get back into the downtrend? Well, I think it all comes down to are the yields rising because there is concern about the potential inflationary impacts from this administration and some of the policies that might be enacted uh, versus well, it's also pro-business and it's going to be economic, economically stimulative and therefore it's going to translate to the bottom line. Why are yields going up? It's probably a combination of both, but I think that's really the linchpin uh, for the bulls when you have a valuation of a forward PE of 22. You want to see the uh, forward PE and the yields moving higher in concert with, when, with which investors have been okay with, provided that it's due to uh, economic growth <laughs> that is occurring and not because inflation has kind of turned back higher. We've seen, you know, some of the prices index within services come in a little bit hot. We've seen on the core side within CPI uh, and PPI be a little bit warm there. Um, it's still on path in terms of uh, moving towards uh, uh, the Fed's 2% target. But uh, we kind of have, you know, a, a potential question mark in terms of whether some of those policies might reignite inflation. If that does, we've got a whole new, you know, the, the Fed doesn't want to have to lower rates and lower rates with an assumption that inflation's okay and then have to move back into raising them after some of those policies potentially uh, begin to reintroduce inflation into the equation. So I think they'd rather just remain pat and not have and just wait to see what happens and have time on their side uh, in order to get a bit better sense of exactly uh, where inflation is going to stand q1 q2 etc all right yeah we still got some time left until uh, anything drastic has to change it seems now that december is basically uh you know back to uh sort of a coin flip uh there at 41 percent thanks uh nate picking up the slack appreciate that